Hello, good morning. Today I want to talk about the regulator I'm using. Uh, this is homemade. So, the first part, this is the piston. Uh, if, if you plan to make your own, uh, you can you can copy the dimensions. It's, it's right here. See, uh, you'll notice there's a six millimeter hole that will hold a piece of delrin that will form the seal. And uh, the piston has, has a diameter of uh, sixteen millimeter because the the Belleville washers I'm going to use will correspond with that. Okay, so there's a piston. So this is the same piston, but not cut away view. So here the the beige colored part is the adjuster. This is where you adjust your uh, pressure, what what you want, what what the pressure you want to use, and the housing is composed of two pieces. There's the green part here. Uh, I'm going to enlarge that. You can see the dimensions. Okay. I enlarge it some more. So here, also here. <coughs> and the second part is the well, what color is this? Pink. So you have your pink part here. And again, there's here are the dimensions, and also what thread I'm using. Uh, it's an M24 by 1.25. The minor diameter is 22.7. So I, I machined it to 22.8. So I have a small clearance. Okay. And here you can see how it's actually assembled. Uh, the piston is inside. I'm using nine pieces of Belleville washers. The size is here. Uh, nine pieces. The size is 16 by 8.2 by 0.9. And the arrangement is shown like this. Uh, with that, kind of arrangement and that kind of stacking of the Belleville washers I can adjust the the adjuster to 1.5 turns here and I would get about 10.2 megapascals and that's about uh, 1500 PSI approximately I don't know for sure okay so uh, what else? Okay, this is the adjuster. You'll see there, there's a black piece here. That's uh, there's a hole drilled into the adjuster, and that hole is stuffed with a piece piece of uh, O-ring. Uh, once it's stuck in there, you cut it to length. And what what the what this does is the purpose of this uh, piece of O-ring is to hold the adjuster in place so I, I don't use a lock lock nut to secure the adjuster instead I just use this o-ring now this idea came from uh, lane regulators it is not original I just copied it somewhere lane regulators there see and you can see uh, two different uh, adjustments or positions okay um, maybe later I'll, I'll show
look up the pitch. And set it to 1.0. Laser. Okay, so here, here's what we have machine. This is the regulator. Uh, we will fit, we we'll fit the O-rings first. So take note of that outside diameter, 75 cross section of thickness, 1.9 millimeter. So that goes here. This whole thing, this sits, sits inside the uh, air tube or the air tank. So that's why I press just like that. So push it in like that. Okay. Now, this is the piston. We also need an O ring here. Take note outside diameter 15, cross section 1.9. That's 15, but the actual diameter of this one is 16. Okay, so put it in like so. It's in there. Now, we can add a little silicon grease. Uh, the reason we use silicon is we don't use petroleum grease because, because it might ignite. Is there. It's going to slide. Oops, it's too luck. Let's see. That's in. That's eight millimeter outside by one point five thickness. Okay. Oops. Okay, it's there. Same here. So this is the adjuster. And I, I want you to see this part. There's a knife edge. So it will seal well against this gel ring. Like that. If, if it goes in contact, it press, press a little, it will seal. It will seal. I still need to put a hole here but we'll do that later I just want to show you how how this is assembled 
Now, these are my Belleville washers. This is size 16 by 8.2 by 0.9. Belleville. Remember that. Belleville. I need nine pieces. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. So four. Five. Nine okay. The weight is range is like so. Isang concave, isang convex, concave, convex. Yeah, come on. Now put it all in there. Add a little silicon grease for the orange. Also the Belleville. Also goes right here. Pulang pa ako ng ano. The the rubber piece of coating on there. Put it in later. Anyway. This is how assemble your refrigerator. Okay. It's ready. Sabi nga, crack and go.